mathematical methods are using for forecasting demand, for estimating demand of a particular product or service. That's why we are using this statistical method. This relates on past data. This relates on past data. Based on the past data, based on the last year data, with the help of the data, where you can estimate the demand for a particular product or service, those methods are statistical methods. Without this past data, we cannot estimate demand for a particular product or service. Without this past data, we cannot estimate demand for a particular product or service. Here in this statistical method, first one, trend projection method. Trend projection method. Here, these are generally, trend projection methods are generally based on analysis of past sales pattern. Based on the past sales pattern, these methods dispense with the need for costly market research. Here, these methods dispense with the need for costly market research because the necessary information is often already available in company files. Here, where the past sales pattern available, here the sales pattern, past sales patterns are recorded in the accounts. That information is readily available, available in the company files. Based on this past sales pattern, where we can estimate demand for a product, those methods are trend projection method. This method is used in case of sales data of the firm under consider it relate to different time periods. Here we can consider different time periods. We can consider the sales pattern of a particular product or service. Then we can estimate the demand for a particular product. We can estimate demand of a particular product with the help of this trend projection methods. It is a time series data. Here this data is a time series data. There are five main techniques of mechanical extrapolation. Here there are five main techniques. Here in the trend projection methods are classified five methods, five techniques. Those are trend line by observation. Here, trend line by observation in this method, in this method of forecasting, in this method of forecasting, trend is elementary. Here, trend is elementary, easy and quick. Here, trend is elementary and easy quick. It involves merely plotting an actual sales data on a particular chart. Here, it involves merely the plotting a actual sales data on a particular chart and then estimate just by observation where the trend line lies. This line can be extended towards a future period and the corresponding sales forecast is read from the graph in this way where we can estimate the demand of a product. In this way where we can estimate demand of a product. Here see, here this is a, this is one graph. This is one graph. Here this is 2017. 2017 sales is 20. 2017 sales 20. Sales 20. Here 20, 40, 40, 60, 80, 80. Here in 2017, the sales is 20. 2018, 2018 sales 30. 2018 sales 30. 2019 sales 50. 2019 sales 15. Here, this graph is increasing. The player where we can draw a line, this is increasing. And next, we can estimate the 20th sales here 20 years sales means that is also increasing where we can estimate the 60 or 70 we can estimate 70 here in this way where we can estimate demand for a particular product that is that is the trend line by observation with the when we are observing this sales data when we are observing this sale data where we plotted in a chart then we estimate demand for a particular product that is trend line by observation that is trend line by observation here in 2017 sales 20 was in 2018 sales is 30 19 it is 60 19 it is 60 with the help of this past data with the help of this past data where we can estimate the next year that is 2020 20th 2020 data where we can estimate that is the 70 that is 70 here in this where we can estimate demand for a particular product that is trend line by observation that is the trend line by observation.
Did you understood this one? Did you understood this one? Did you understood this one? With the help of this graph. And next one, least square method. Least squares method. Here, this technique use statistical formula to find the trend line which best fits the available data. Here, with the help, help of the sales, where we can formulate some equations. Where we can formulate some equation. A x plus T y, x plus T y. When we differentiate, when we integrated this x plus T y equal to zero, where you can find several formulas with the help of these equations, where you can solve the, where we can solve these equations and we estimate the demand for a particular product that is least squares method. That is the least squares method. Here this technique uses statistical formula to find trend line which best fits the available data. The trend line is the estimating equation which can be used for forecasting demand by extrapolating extrapolating the line for future and regarding the corresponding values of sales. Regarding the corresponding values of the sales, we can estimate demand. Next time series analysis. The time series relating to sales rep uh, represents the past pattern affecting demand of a particular product. Such data can be such data can be presented either in such data. in a tabulation form or in a graphical form for further analysis. This method is popular because it is simple and inexpensive. Here time series analysis is a simple method and inexpensive method. That's why most of the companies they are using time series analysis data for estimating demand. Here time series data of an exhibit, a persistent growth trend, there are preliminary four sets of factors which are responsible for the characterization of time series by fluctuations and turning points on time series then with the help of this time series analysis where we can estimate where you can prepare a one tabular form one tabulation or a graph with the help of this graph where you can estimate demand for a particular product or service that is time series analysis here in time series trend depends upon the time depend when we consider the time depends upon the time and depends upon the season where the sales is fluctuating where sales is fluctuating Sometimes it is turning. With the help of this data, where we can estimate demand for a particular product or service, that is time series analysis. For example, if you see in festival season, there is a more demand of products. There is a more demand of product. Here, there is a festival season type. In normal season, there is a less demand. That means fluctuations are going on between the festival season, festive season, and normal season. Normal time and festive time. And sometimes the uh, sometimes the companies they are giving offers. Sometimes the companies they are giving offers. In the when they are giving offers, they are increasing their sales. Based on this data, where you can estimate next future demand. That is the uh, that is demand forecasting with the help of the time series analysis. Next one, moving average method. Moving average method. This method considers that average of past events determine the future events. Average of past events determine future events. In other words, this method provides a consistent results when the past events are considered. When the past events are considered, sorry, past events are consistent and unaffected by wide changes. For example, when you see when you average the last three years data and the average preceding three years data here. In 17 sales 20. In 17 sales 20. 18 40. 18 40. 19. 19 also 40. 19 also 40. When you can estimate the 20, when you estimate 20 demand forecasting when you estimate 2020 demand forecasting 2020 demand forecasting here in 14 in 14 the sales is 14 sales is 10 15 sales 15 sales sorry 15 sales 15 
नेक्स्ट 16 सेल्स 20 16 सेल्स 20 here this is the past data 14 to 19 we have the past data with the help of this past data we can apply moving average method and where we can estimate demand for a product where we can estimate demand for a product first we can average of 3 years first we can consider average of 3 years the average of this 3 years are 20 plus 10 plus 15 that means 45 by 3 45 by, by 3 means 45 by 3 45 by, by 3 how much 45 by 3 how much 3 tens 3 fives 15 threes here that is the 15 that is 15 here that is 15 next 3 years next 3 years means this one next 3 years 15 16 17 that is 15 16 17 that is 40 55 by 3 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 means 55 by 3 how much 55 by 3 18.33 very good 18.33 18.33 18.33 Next we can consider next three years. We can consider next eighty by three. Eighty by three means eighty by three. How much eighty by three? Twenty-six point six. Twenty-six point six. Twenty-six point six. Twenty-six point six. Next three years, hundred by three. Hundred by three means hundred by three. That is thirty-three point three. Thirty-three point three. Here, compulsory, we can estimate demand thirty-three percent. That is that's why we can estimate fifty percent in two twenty twenty. That's why we can estimate. 50 we can estimate 50 here when you see the moving averages here these are the moving average first three next three next three next three 15 18.3 26.3 6 33.3 here these are the moving averages with the help of this moving average we are we can estimate demand for next year that is the moving average in this way where you can estimate demand for a particular product or service particular product or service that is moving average method. Next one, exponential smoothing method. Here, this exponential smoothing method is an. This is a popular technique used for short-run forecast. This is a popular method used for short-run forecast. This method is an improvement over moving average method. Here, exponential smoothing method is an improvement over moving, improvement over moving average method. Unlike in moving average method, all time periods here are given varying weights. Here, we can consider. Year wise data in moving average method we can consider year wise data, but in exponential smoothing, uh, exponential smoothing method we can consider giving weights for all time periods. Here winter season how much sales we are giving weighted average. Next summer, uh, next cold. Here we can according to the season according to time we can give the varying weights. We can give the weights with the when we are giving the Weights. Which one is the higher? We are giving higher weight. Where we estimate the demand for that higher weight. That is the exponential smoothing method. Based on the time periods, we are giving, uh, we are giving the weights. Here in 14 summer section, we can sell 100. That's why we are waiting. The weight, weighted average is one. In winter, that is only 15. We can give lower weights. Here, when you are giving the waiting uh, waiting average weighted weights, weighted, and then we can estimate demand for a product. That is the exponential smoothing method. That is exponential smoothing method. Next one, barometric technique. Next technique, barometric technique. 
here simple trend projections simple trend projections are not capable here these are not statistical methods but uh, this is continuous eef but this is second one barometric technique is the second here barometry simple trend projections are not capable of forecasting turning points here all these methods are failure to estimate demand for a particular product or service we can go for barometric technique here all these five methods are fail these methods are did not give a fruitful results for demand forecasting that's why we are give, go, going for barometric technique under barometric method present events are used to predict the directions of changes in future here we can consider the present events and where we can predict the future changes in this way we can estimate demand for a product that method is the barometric technique or barometric method this is done with the help of economic and statistical indicators here this method is done with the help of economic and economics and statistical indicators those are construction contracts award for building materials construction contracts award for building materials here there are more construction contracts are uh, issued by a government issued by government that means there is a more demand of building materials today we construct one dam at particular place that means where there is a need of building materials to construct the dam in these economic conditions or economic indicators or statistical statistical indicators where you can estimate demand for a particular product that is the barometric technique next one personal income when the income levels are increasing day by day we can estimate demand we can estimate the demand next agricultural income in this year the agricultural income increases the people they can buy more agricultural implements and also there is a more employment generation in present conditions that also leads to demand for household goods here all these indicators with the help of these indicators where you can estimate demand that demand is barometric technique what is barometric technique where you consider current events present events and estimate future change in this way where you can estimate demand for a product the technique is the barometric technique the technique is barometric technique when this online classes are going on most of you purchase tabs most of you purchase tabs without laptops that's why you can purchase tabs instead of this mobile phones instead of this mobile phones isn't it instead of this mobile phones you purchase tabs why you purchase tabs where there is a no laptops because we can easily access and there is a that's why we can purchase tabs here the present that means the present conditions or present events uh, present events used to predict in future that is the barometric technique here next one simultaneous equation method in this method all variables are simultaneously considered with the convention that every variable influence the other variables every variable influence the other variables in an economic environment here we can consider all variables in an economic environment and a set of equations of we can develop a set of equations where we can develop this set of equation independent variables and dependent variables independent variables and depend with the help of independent and dependent variables where we can uh, formulate several equations when you solving all these equations yeah, with the help of these equations we can estimate demand that method is the simultaneous equation method simultaneous equation method next one correlation method next one correlation method correlation and regression methods are statistical techniques correlation describes the degree of association between two variables here the degree of association between two variables such as sales and advertisement ex expenditure such as sales and advertisement expenditure when the two variables tend to change together then they are said to be correlated when you are continuously advertising when you are continuously advertising a particular product where there is a demand where we can increase sales of particular that product where we can increase sales of that product that means this is association of sales and sales and advertisement this is association of sales and advertisement that is the correlation method with the help of correlation correlation method where you can estimate the demand how we can estimate the demand when you are continuously advertising a particular product there is increasing of sales 
the best example is fog spray fog spray that is a correlation method fog spray do you know fog spray there are five or six flavors are there there are five or six flavors and separate flavors for women's also they are producing separate flavors for women's also here they are continuously giving advertisements and they can change the message they can change their message also continuously advertising and they can change their message that's why the people they are tend to purchase or they tend to purchase the fog sprays initially they are introducing their fog their product they give the advertisement message there is no gas for this spray before that all the uh, sprays all the deodorants are placed they have to fill some gas into that sprays but they here they are advertising in that message after that they produce several messages with the help of their increasing their sales that type of estimation is the correlation method next one regression method it identifies a relationship between two or more variables where there are two or more only two variables are there we can estimate with the help of correlation method two or more variables are there we can use regression method to estimate demand for a particular product a dependent variable whose value is to be predicted and an independent variable about which knowledge is available here the dependent variable and independent variables are there here with the help of these two variables where we can form several equations x and y here regression method there are two equations we are using x and y and y and x with the help of where we can formulate these two equations and we can solve these two equations we can know the relationship of relationship of the two or more variables with the help of that we can estimate demand that is the regression method that is regression method here all these are the statistical methods 